Hi guys, I'm here to show you today what my um, 2015 Project Life album is looking like and also my plans for Project Life in 2015. Um, this is the first year I've done Project Life like based around my everyday life whole family thing. Last year I did it just on my son so this will be the first year I'm doing Project Life properly. Um, so I wanted to get organized. So this is the album I've chosen to use and I have four of these because I like to sit the albums in my Expedit cube and I found that four albums fit nicely in there. So I don't like I'm worried about picking one album color and then having it discontinued. So what I do is when I find an album that I like, I pick four of the same color so that I know that at least then it will kind of look uniform in the fact that there'll be four of each color in each cube, if that makes sense. So I've got four of these We Are Memory Keepers. I've still got the label on the back. So it's the We Are Memory Keepers um, Mint 12 by 12 inch ring album. And it's a beautiful, We Are Memory Keepers does such a beautiful job of their albums. Like, I don't know if you can see, you've got the beautiful stitching and the metal corners. And I find the metal corners so important because otherwise they get a little bit banged up. And they come with this um, plate on the side, which I'm yet to decide what I'm going to do with that to write 2015 on there. So, um, and... The spine, I, I think they're a little bit smaller than they used to be, um, but it's still a really good size. So, yeah, this is the album decided on. I'm not sure, because I've never done Project Life properly, um, I'm not sure if I'll just need the one album or two. I think I'm probably going to need two. I'll probably need volume one and volume two, so that's fine. So, you would have seen some of this already on my YouTube channel because I've done process videos. So basically what I decided to do was I had lots of, um, I made some little albums in the We Are Memory Keepers 4x4 albums for my mother-in-law and my sister-in-law for Christmas. So I had a lot of extra 2x2 two two photos. So what I decided to do was sort of have this as part of the opening of the book and put some of my favourite 2014 photos in so I've got a couple there's like one of my son and I one of my son and a family picture that we took on a holiday and so I've got lots of little elements I put a tag with 2015 because I wanted that written somewhere on here because obviously it's the first little bit you see as you open the album and um yeah, I've done a little shaker pocket, but this is actually not stitched in yet. I need to get my sewing machine out and do that. And then on the back, I've got some more um, favourite photos and a little bit of journaling. What I did find, though, is that I want to add, because you open up into this page that's very pink and very yellow with lots of bright colours, I really want to add a couple little embellishments here that brighten up this side of the layout of the spread because I found that this side's fine but when you open up here I really like things to be like cohesive across the spread that you're seeing so I want to add a couple of bright things here just to make that tie in so the plan was that that was my mini introduction page and then what I've got here is basically I love this card it's the Howdy Swap one that turns around um, so basically this is like another opening page which had you know, some of my favourite things at the moment, my goals, um, my favourite music at the moment. You know, I just wanted a little look at sort of a few things that I'm doing at the moment. So, and I've also got some more journaling and just, just some colourful bits and pieces. And look at that, one thing's already fallen off, so I'm going to have to re-glue that. That's terrible. Um, I've left this spread open, and the reason for that is because I really want to do one of those cut apart like when you do the 12 by 12 photos and you cut it apart um, in Photoshop to create um, a whole page photo. I really want to do a family photo here so that's why I've purposely left this blank for now until I find or my sister's a photographer so I might get her to take a nice one that I can put there which will sort of be our family photo for 2015. So that's why that's blank and then this you would have seen in a process video this is my week one spread which 
I have chosen this year to do, I did a little bit of research on what everyone else does with their project life. And I've decided to go from Monday to Sunday with my project life. So because of this, the week one sort of had that extra few days before the Monday. So I've included all of that into week one, if that makes sense. So I did have quite a few photos. So I added this snap or simple stories snap um, three by four pocket, which you can fit eight three by fours in. So that was very handy. And that's, I mean, the first, the first one here is also a simple story snap. So they, they do fit into these albums because the rings you just put in the bottom two or the top two, if you want them at the top. So that's very handy to know because I can add some, I mean, what I, what I am doing this year is sticking with design A for my basic week spread. But if I have too many photos or I have an event that I want to document separate to the week, I'm just going to add like some different spreads. And that's where I'll get to have my fun playing with different sizes and different orientations because I just don't want to, I don't want to steer away from the design A, but I still want to have a play with other stuff as well. So I'm going to get some 6x12s as well and just some different orientations just so I can have a play. So this is my week one and that turned out really well. So as you can see, I've only done week one so far. Um, I do have week two and three printed yesterday, so I'll get onto that. But my plan to keep this, um, keep on track with my project life, because I mean, I do have a one year old and life gets busy and all of that. So sometimes I don't get a chance to do um, scrapbooking every week or whatever. So what I've done is um, got this binder and I've printed, I do want to put a cover page here, but I just haven't had time yet. So these are, um, I'm not sure if you can see that really well. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Um, so these are from www.zoepndesigns.com. Um, I'll put the link below this video and you can print out design a spreads. So week one, I didn't plan out because I'd already done it before I printed out this planner. So that's why week one doesn't have anything in it. But this is an example. What I did was I was printing, uh, I find this really handy because when week two and three, when I went to organize the photos for printing, what I do is I get out this planner and I can work out what photos, I look at the photos that I've got from the week and I can plan out where I want to put them so that way I know what size I need to print the photos, if that makes sense. And I, I can also work out if I've got too many photos for a spread and whether I need another insert. So this helps me plan out my photos for printing really easily and I can work out how many cards, how many filler cards, journaling cards and everything that I need. So I found this really, really helpful. So for week two, I've got this all planned out. These photos are printed. And I've got in the notes at the bottom, Elisha's cake smash separate insert because my son had his cake smash photo shoot. But in the end, I think I may have decided just to put a couple in there because I didn't want the album to be predominantly my son because he has his own album as well. So that's what I've done for week two. And then week three, I knew that I had a lot of photos again. So I know that I'm going to need a separate insert. So I've just drawn the insert really badly, I might add down the bottom here so I knew which photos I needed printing. So I've got all of these printed out so that I can do them for the weeks when I'm printing photos. So even when I don't get time to scrapbook, I can sit down, I can plan my photos and I, when I'm sitting down to scrapbook catching up, I can just go back, I know where I'm putting things and everything. So that's how I'm planning the layouts. Also, for, also from the same place, the printouts you can print out these awesome I might just have to turn this this way um I'll just zoom in a bit more um so these are like a week um what would you call it a week planner thing so for week one you can go along and write down um things that you've done you know like for this week I've got on Wednesday I watched some silly cartoons with Elijah like some of the cartoons these days, wow. Um, I had a big house clean out, I took down the Christmas tree, Elijah learnt to climb the slide, um, we played Yahtzee with my partner's family, you know, um, 
I made a red velvet cake. There's just all sorts of things in here that I would forget if they weren't written down. Um, up the top here, I've also worked out for the entire year what the dates are for each week. So for week one, it was the 5th of January to the 11th of January if you're working Monday to Sunday, but these first four days would have been missed. So that I included those in my week one, which was the 1st to the 4th of January. So then we've got week two. So like, again, I've written the, oops, I've written the date. So I've got the 12th of January to the 18th of January, week two. And so I've written things down, like Elijah had his cake smash photo shoot. Um, Elijah learned how to climb from the lounge. Um, you know, um, Elijah woke up at four o'clock in the morning. That was a horrible, horrible day. Um, we went out grocery shopping. Adam and Elijah wore matching Converse shoes for the first time. There was a big storm. You know, there's just lots of things in here. And I mean, if I keep this beside my computer of a night, I can just write down things from the day. So, um, you know, we had pizza, Elijah practiced walking, got in the cross train, did a one kilometer and felt like I was dying. I started reading the Divergent series. You know, there's things that I wouldn't necessarily have photos of, but if I've written them down, I could probably pull a photo off the internet of the Divergent book and write a little bit of notes about how I'm reading that at the moment because um, I'm doing a lot of reading this year and I'm following a book club so I wanted to document my journey with that so I've you know got a few things and I've gone down I've written all the dates for the year so I think I'm gonna find this tool very helpful to keep me organized this year and keep me on track so that's what I'm doing for 2015 and I'm going to share all my process videos hopefully on the on my YouTube channel so I hope you're going to enjoy them and I hope you like a look I like to look at my project life plans so thank you so much for watching bye